Hello and welcome back to Amateur Money, your go-to channel for demystifying money, economics, and personal finance. If you've faced financial challenges this past year, you're not alone. Today, we're diving into financial recovery strategies for 2024 to help you turn things around. Have you found your finances taking an unexpected turn? How did it impact your life? Let us know in the comments and remember, our channel has a wealth of videos covering various financial topics that might just be the guide you need. Now, let's unravel the strategies that can set the stage for a financially healthier 2024. Revisiting your budget. Revisiting your budget is the foundational step in financial recovery. It's about reassessing income and expenses to ensure they align with your current financial situation and goals. Start by compiling all financial documents, including income sources, bills, and bank statements. This comprehensive view is key to understanding your monetary flow. Next, categorize your expenses into segments like housing, utilities, groceries, and transportation. Identify areas where spending exceeds necessity. Maybe you're subscribing to services you rarely use or frequently dining out. Spotting these overspending zones is crucial for budget adjustments. Evaluate your income, considering both primary and secondary sources. Adjust your budget for any changes, like salary increments or reduced work hours. For instance, if you discover that housing costs consume 40% of your income, consider downsizing or finding a roommate to align with the recommended 30%. Remember, a budget is a dynamic tool that should adapt to changes in your life. Regular reviews and adjustments keep you financially aligned and help in making informed decisions. A well-maintained budget is your roadmap to financial stability and growth. Emergency funds, why they're crucial. Emergency funds are a crucial component of financial stability. They're not just about saving money. It's about saving smartly for unforeseen circumstances. An emergency fund acts as a financial buffer that can keep you afloat in times of need without having to rely on credit cards or loans, which can lead to debt. The importance of an emergency fund cannot be overstated. It's your safety net in cases like unexpected medical bills, sudden job loss, or urgent car repairs. Without it, these situations can drastically impact your financial health. Starting or replenishing an emergency fund is a practical move. Begin by setting a target amount. Typically, it's recommended to have three to six months worth of living expenses. If that seems daunting, start small. Even saving a small portion of your income, like 5%, each month can gradually build up your fund. For example, if your monthly living expenses are $2,000, aim for an emergency fund of $6,000 to $12,000. If saving this amount is challenging, even a $1,000 fund can be a significant cushion for minor emergencies. To effectively build your fund, consider automating your savings or allocating any unexpected income like tax refunds directly to this fund. Remember, the key is consistency and prioritizing this fund as an essential part of your financial plan. Additional Income Streams In today's dynamic economy, having multiple income streams can be a game-changer for financial stability. Side hustles and freelance opportunities are practical ways to supplement your main income. Consider part-time jobs or online freelancing in areas like writing, graphic design, or coding. For example, if you're good at graphic design, you might take on projects through platforms like Fiverr or Upwork. These platforms connect skilled individuals with a global client base, offering flexible work opportunities. Turning hobbies into income sources is another viable option. Whether it's starting a blog, a YouTube channel about a passion, or selling crafts on Etsy, these avenues allow you to earn from activities you enjoy. For instance, someone passionate about woodworking could sell handmade furniture or decor online. The key is to identify skills or interests that can be monetized without overwhelming your schedule. These additional income streams not only bolster your earnings but also diversify your financial portfolio, providing extra security in uncertain times. Remember, the goal is to create a balance that enhances your financial health without compromising your lifestyle or primary job commitments. The Power of Financial Literacy Financial literacy is a powerful tool in managing and growing your wealth. Understanding the basics of budgeting, investing, and saving empowers you to make informed decisions and avoid common financial pitfalls. There are numerous free or low-cost resources available for enhancing financial literacy. Public libraries often offer books and workshops on personal finance. 
Online platforms like Khan Academy provide free courses on a range of topics from basic economics to more complex investment strategies. Websites and blogs dedicated to personal finance, such as Nerd Wallet or The Simple Dollar, are also valuable resources. They offer articles, guides, and tools to help you understand different aspects of financial management. Podcasts are another excellent way to increase your financial knowledge. Shows like The Dave Ramsey Show or So Money with Farnoosh Torabi cover various topics and offer practical advice in an easily digestible format. By leveraging these resources, you can build a solid foundation of financial knowledge. This knowledge not only helps in making day-to-day -day financial decisions, but also in planning long-term financial goals. Remember, investing time in your financial education is as important as investing money for your future. Managing and reducing debt. Effective debt management is crucial in maintaining financial health. Let's discuss strategies to not only manage and reduce your existing debt, but also to prevent accumulating new debt. Begin by listing all your debts, noting the amounts, interest rates, and minimum payments. This will help prioritize which debts to tackle first. High interest debts usually should be paid off earlier to avoid accruing more interest over time. When it comes to repayment strategies, consider the debt snowball method. Paying off smaller debts first for psychological wins, or the debt avalanche method. Focusing on debts with the highest interest rates first to save money in the long run. Budget adjustments play a key role. Redirecting funds from non-essential spending to debt repayment can make a significant difference. It's important, however, to maintain a sustainable budget that doesn't lead to accruing new debts. Additionally, actively avoid taking on new debts unless absolutely necessary. This means being cautious with credit card use, avoiding high interest loans, and living within your means. It's essential to differentiate between wants and needs, and to delay or forego certain expenses until your financial situation is more stable. If possible, negotiate with creditors for lower interest rates or modified repayment plans, particularly if you're facing financial difficulties. Remember, managing debt is not just about paying it off, it's also about changing spending habits and making conscious financial decisions to avoid falling back into debt. Each step towards reducing your debt is a step towards greater financial freedom and stability. Thank you for joining us in exploring these crucial financial recovery strategies for 2024. Your journey to financial wellness might have twists and turns, but remember, every step you take is a step towards stability and peace of mind. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to Amateur Money for more insightful content, and share your thoughts or experiences in the comments section below. Here's to a financially healthier you in 2024.